So my paper uh, looks at the link between executive function and achievement in school-aged children and looks at the ways in which school-based interventions uh, that are designed to improve executive function can have the potential to improve achievement for young children. Executive function are the skills that people use to plan. It involves memory, memory skills, it involves attention, and inhibiting uh, behaviors that um, might otherwise happen spontaneously. Uh, and it's involved in all sorts of planning kinds of behaviors. Uh, there's lots of reason to think that executive function would be related to achievement because any kind of achievement task requires thoughtful planning uh, and the use of memory and attention and the in inhibition of impulses. Um, and lots of the research shows that the two are highly correlated. Um, but the question is, if you intervened with children uh, and tried to change and improve their executive functioning skills, which there are lots of studies that show that um, on small, discrete tasks, those skills can be improved, would that actually lead to improvement in achievement? We tried to gather all the research that had been done on the link between executive function and achievement in the U.S. and abroad uh, over the last 25 years. Um, so any published study that had both a quantitative measure of achievement and a quantitative measure of executive functioning skills were included in our analyses. We looked at all school-aged children from uh, preschool all the way through the end of high school. Um, most of the research on the link between executive function and achievement has focused on preschool age children and children in early elementary school, but there are some studies that have also looked at the link between executive function and achievement in, in older students as well. And we tried to cover the gamut, uh, all of the um, children from preschool, three years old, all the way up to 18. This paper looks at the relationship between both reading and math achievement and executive functioning skills, and uh, the general belief in the literature has been that there's a strong relationship between math skills and executive function than reading skills, but our research did not bear that out. Uh, the two were both equally correlated with executive function. The major takeaway from this paper is that although executive function and achievement, there's a lot of evidence that the two are highly correlated with one another, there is not yet a resounding body of evidence that indicates that if you changed executive functioning skills by intervening in schools, that that would then lead to an improvement in achievement for children. Over the last 10 to 15 years, there's been a, a great increase in interest in the relationship between executive function and achievement, and many uh, programs have been developed to try to improve executive functioning skills, especially in preschool and early elementary school. The programs can be expensive at times, and it's important to understand what the research says about that link and what it doesn't say. There need to be more rigorous studies of the link between executive function and achievement and interventions designed to improve them. There were very few studies that we were able to find where there was a randomized trial that assessed whether an intervention that was targeting these skills actually led to an increase in achievement. There very well may be a causal link between executive function and achievement, um, but I think that we should not see it as a panacea. It's not the, uh, it is not the end all be all that's going to lead to reducing the achievement gap among low income children, for example. And we should be wary before investing in programs uh, before we have a strong research base behind them.